No, he's, he's just trying to power overpower, out. Yeah, there's no way. Bridge, like. He's and, he, and, he's, and he's grabbing the gear, grabbing the head, and that's kind of something you see from an early fighter grabbing onto something that's not even there and just wearing oh, he themselves can, out. They can finish it off here. This is, this is not good. This is not good. A few moments later. Oh, oh. No, 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 you don't do that. He's going to make a big mistake messing with Mark Goddard. Alinko! And now his opponent, standing across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He is a striker, standing five foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 66 kilos. He is a veteran of seven MMA bouts, fighting out of and representing Abu Dhabi, UAE, Ahmed Altarmaki. And your referee when the cage door closes, Mark Goddard. All right, here we go now once again. This is your UAE Warriors 12 featherweight division. We got the uh, MMA debut right now of Mr. Bogdan Kirilenko versus your hometown hero, Ahmed Al Dermaki Cyrus. We were talking about how exciting it is for a MMA debut because you never know what they're bringing to the table. Sure, absolutely. You know, Bogdan Kirilenko, it sounds like an NBA player more does an <laughs> MMA fighter. but <laughs> That's Andrew Kirilenko. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, and Bogdan Bogdanovich, yeah. and you yeah. just put them together, right? Right. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> from what I understand, you know, Bogdan Kirilenko, a guy that's put in a lot of time on the mats, really trained hard for this opportunity. And not to mention you're taking on kind of the hometown hero here out of Abu Dhabi, a guy right. that really eats, sleeps, and breathes Abu Dhabi, man. He really represents this area. Um, the record has never been incredible for Al Darmaki, but he always brings a lot of fire, always brings a lot of heat with every fight. He's right. fun to watch. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. And yeah, so right now, I think they're just trying to measure each, uh, each other's length right now, throwing soft kicks right there. Yeah, you can only imagine what's going through the head of Kirilenko, man. First time inside the cage, under the bright lights, internationally being seen, you know, by so many folks. He's a Muay Thai fighter. I'm not sure if he had any Muay Thai fights before. Oh! Or this is really his first time yeah. in, the, in the cage, in the ring, or whatever. So he, he looks... He looks relaxed. First takedown by Hamid Al Darmaki right Pretty now. Pretty easy takedown. No, no nice. defense. Yeah, solid. Solid little take there and there by Good Al Darmaki. Timing. Al Darmaki yeah. has been training for so many years. as a guy that's been doing this for years and years. And you can only imagine under some of the best black belts uh, in the UAE. And you can only imagine the tutelage that he's gotten over the years, uh, what he's absorbed in those training sessions. True. And, you know, Alder Maki is a mainstay of UAE Warriors having fought in previous events. And for all those who don't know, he is a frontliner. He works as a nurse, too. Wow. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. All you right. You know, what, what's really funny was during the previous event at UAE Warriors 11, he came out in his walkthrough wearing a PPE. <laughs> That's right. With a face shield and everything. That. It's amazing, man. You know, we He's I have hero. so much respect for these folks, man. Oh, My yes. wife is, is a nurse on the front lines. And much respect, sir. Absolutely. And I, now she's not watching. I can never convince her to watch my fights anymore. So <laughs> she's seen so many over the years. She's like, yeah, whatever. I'm not watching she's that. She's done. You know, I remember one of the interviews I did with uh, Ahmed al Darmaki last time. I told him, beyond being a good fighter, I said, congratulations for helping save lives. And he loved it great because. Takedown. Great takedown, but just as you say that, man, Altermaki takes control and takes full mount. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could take a triangle right here if you yeah, want Buck to. Yeah, he don't look like he's have any ground skills. No, he's, he's just trying to power overpower, out. Yeah, there's no way. Bridge, like. And, he, just, and, he's, and he's grabbing the gear, grabbing the head, and that's kind of something you see from an early fighter grabbing onto something that's not even there and just wearing oh, he themselves can, uh, out. They can finish it off here. This, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, oh it's over. Rear naked choke, ladies and gentlemen, Mark whoa, Goddard. Whoa, 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 what is happening whoa, whoa. here? No, 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 you don't do that. He's going to make a big mistake messing with Mark Goddard. 
Wow. You know, things just took a crazy turn. Aldermaki gets the win. Mark Goddard okay, here we go. pulls we him it. off, and he takes offense to it in the heat of the battle, right? In the heat of the battle. But hopefully they can sort this thing out like that. I man. just don't understand what happened. Like, this is not a good attitude. The referee stopped the fight. He should. Oh. What's he? What is the homework? It's like he doesn't he want to come down. He should protect the athlete. That's what the referee did. So I don't understand this type of behavior. Yeah, I mean, I, but I think just a miscommunication. I think he took something the wrong way, but I hopefully think, we'll get this sorted out, right? Yeah, of course. I think it might squeeze a little bit too long. I'm not sure. We need to see on the replay. So let's see what happened right here. So this was the action before he got a choke. He got a choke, he tapped, yeah. That was yeah. a clean one, he didn't let go. That's yeah. why Mark Goddard tried to pull he him off. He hold on for a couple more seconds. Right, and, and Alder Maki kind of like, didn't like it. And here we go, a seat of action yeah. right now. He threw his mouth guard he cannot down push. the canvas. That was, a, I don't agree with his attitude. This is not a professional at I don't, point. I don't care if he's like, on the mood, like, if but, he's, he did, he, did, but, he did say sorry though, he asked for apology. Yeah, that's from Mark Goddard. at least what he can do because the referee did the right thing. I'm not gonna let you get to him. I'm not gonna let you get to the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight stops at 328, round number one. Your winner by disqualification, Buta oh Kiralinko. Thank you, yeah. That was crazy turn of events right there. So Alder Malki getting a they, clean rear end choke. But I don't think that was a wrong decision. Like, he should give example for people. There's kids watching this at home. And there's something happening at the back. Right there's there. families watching this at home. He right. cannot push the ref. He cannot complain. Like, he cannot disrespect. True. But in fairness with Ahmed al Maki, he uh, asked for apologies. We saw it. We heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all good. That's all good. But he should take it as a lesson, like, as a fighter, control your emotions. This is one of the first things you learn in martial right. arts. Right. Keep respectful, control your emotions, give example, be example for people. So. Well, you know, thanks for seeing the fight business. A lot of things that could happen on and off the cage. But coming up next right now is your fifth fight of the evening. This is going to be in the lightweight division of our UE Wars 12. Anyways, we have much more action.